Hi, I'm Angela, and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Welcome to my channel. If you never have, would you please subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time there's a new video. And I would love to know that you're following along over on Instagram because that's where you and I can spend a little time together every single day. I spent some time today on a walk. The weather is exquisite here in Door County. Early August, partly cloudy, about 68 degrees, and the wildflowers are in full bloom. In fact, they're commanding the spotlight. And I had to turn around and come and get my camera and go back out because I wanted to get some clips to share with you. It was just so beautiful. I'd also like to share with you what I did with some of those flowers. I made this gorgeous echinacea tincture so we can stay nice and healthy this winter, and this calendula and goldenrod oil for aching muscles. Now, if you love wildflowers like I do, if you love herbs and the garden, then visit ParisianFarmGirl.com because I will have specifics on how I made these two products and you can peruse some of my other gardening blog posts, the romance of herbs, all my potache posts. I think you'll really enjoy those.
When I was expecting my first child, I read a book called Wise Woman Herbal, and it had a profound effect on me. It taught me so much about using natural remedies and natural resources to take care of my own body and of my family. It's by Susan Weed. It's still on my bookshelf. Extremely useful. She recommends taking one drop of tincture for every two pounds of body weight. I couldn't resist heading out to the garden and grabbing a few more flowers. And I had to grab some of my white echinacea. That would be really beautiful in the jar with the purple. So I'm going to add these. I'll add some leaves too. And then in the fall, after the plant dies back, I'll dig it up and I'll harvest one or two of the roots. I'll wash them off, chop them up, and add them to this tincture. I'm going to give it a shake every day. And come winter, when we need it most, for wellness, respiratory issues, we all know the benefits of echinacea. And be sure to visit ParisianFarmGirl.com so you can read a little more on this. But come winter, we'll be ready for us to use as a family. And I'll have these beautiful memories of gathering wildflowers and visiting my own garden and using some of that beauty to take care of them. I'll be steeping my flowers in vodka, not a bottom shelf vodka, but not a top shelf vodka. This is sort of middle of the road, pinnacle, made in France. This jar is so beautiful, and that's one of the things about bringing your garden into the kitchen. You get to continue to experience that beauty. I grabbed an old pillowcase from the linen closet and tore a square off the top I do enjoy decorating my canned goods. Give them a little feminine touch with a little piece of fabric underneath the ring. This will steep in a sunny windowsill. I'll turn it once a day and it will be ready for us by the time the weather changes. Of course, the tansy that I picked on the roadside is toxic, so I'm not going to be making any remedies with the tansy, but it's such a beautiful little flower. I love the structure. I think it's so sweet, so I had to add it to my little chinoise child size tea set. The goldenrod is just starting to bloom here on the property and throughout Door County. And it's such a wonderful flower because it gives the pollinators that last little bit of nourishment that they need before the frost comes and before winter comes. And you know, I love my essential oils very much, but I cannot resist the romance and the lure of going out into the fields and into my own garden and harvesting flowers and herbs to make some of my own products. So I'm going to pack this jar with the goldenrod that I harvested earlier today. And then I went out to my own garden and grabbed some calendula. And I'm going to top it off and just fill this jar with sweet almond oil and let it steep. And this will be a wonderful massage oil that I can use throughout the winter for muscle sprains, aches and pains, you name it. I'll let this steep in the sunshine along with the other products that I'm working on. It's so beautiful, it smells incredible. Thank 
you so much for being here. I have many more videos of herbs and flowers and all sorts of fabulous recipes to carry us into winter. I think if you enjoyed this one that you would enjoy this video right here and this one right here. Be sure you've subscribed. I do appreciate you. A bientôt. Always listen to your heart.